so this is the agenda for today's presentation of uh, need for data governance what data to be governed importance of data governance tool what data uh, need uh, the importance of data governance and the top 10 governance tool uh, also the conclusion so uh, as we have, everyone knows uh, yesterday also colleague uh, Nitya explained about uh, GDPR. So it's the European Compliance Regulatory, wherein uh, PII, personal data, then there's another which is California uh, Privacy Act. Then this is for Australia, and this is HIPAA, which is Health Insurance uh, Portability and Accountability Act. So uh, the main reason why everyone tries to be, uh, you know, compliant is uh, just to save themselves, their company from penalties or fines. The other and another most important reason is to ensure data is governed. So what is data governance? It's the complete governance of data by setting rules and regulations with policies on how data is stored, the quality of data, usefulness, relevance, and security. So basically, these are the different uh, components of data. Why uh, data needs to be available? This is because anytime, if anyone in a right access, they want to access it, they should be able to access it. The other is usability. So it means uh, the data should be good. I mean, accurate, accuracy wise, it should be already quality checked. Then the integrity is the data is not tampered. It is as it is, it was extracted from the origin. And then the security part. So this all four also comes under, uh, you know, data quality and data lineage because data quality also does the same checks uh, and lineage does the tracing. So moving on to the next one. So what data to be governed? So there are different datas. Uh, I'll just go through each one of them. One is metadata. Metadata is the data of data. So any uh, information which is stored in a database, it has a data of data, which is the attributes of wherein it's the origin of the data, then the size of who has saved it. Everything is saved as a metadata. So this is very important because metadata helps in uh, creating a catalog or glossary wherein you will need this information to be able to locate the data. So this is about the metadata. Moving on to the next one, data security. Uh, this is a very critical component, wherein uh, it's also called CIA, which is confidentiality, uh, integrity, and availability. So protecting data throughout its cycle, life cycle from corruption, theft, or unauthorized access until it is disposed. So uh, this is one of the reasons why, you know, why we need to govern this access management PI data. Access management is a data of employees and PI is again a different, either it's a customer or your employee's data. So moving on to the third one, uh, this is another, uh, as I mentioned earlier, data cataloging. This is uh, a catalog wherein if you have data and if it is not, uh, if there is no catalog or if there is no indexing, you will not know where is what and what is saved where. So this is another important reason we need to ensure we have a proper uh, data cataloging. So we will know which data is where. So whenever we need it, uh, we can extract the data. Uh, it's also called the organized inventory of data assets in the organization. Moving on to the next one. This is data policy. It's like a guideline or I would say it's a set of rules on uh, you know, appropriate or ethical use of data to ensure that data is used properly, whoever accesses it, or, uh, you know, they do it diligently. So this is also one of the reasons why the privacy laws are there. And we need to ensure that the company always abides to the law and it always stays compliant. So data policy is another very critical component. Moving on to the next one, it's uh, traceability of data, that's data lineage. So this includes the data where, when it is origin, it means when it is extracted or when, whenever the life cycle starts and what happens to it, where it moves on over time, 
uh, you know, during the entire the, the pipeline, data pipeline. At the same time, uh, it's also simplifies. Uh, you know, it should be simplified process to trace back errors so that we know what has what has got wrong and we can get to the root cause. So this is also a very important component, data lineage, which is a part of data governance. Then this data quality. Data quality is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in order to ensure we have a good data, we need to ensure it is maintained properly, how relevant it is, because how, uh, whenever it is required for business purpose, we should be able to get some meaningful information from it. At the same time, the accuracy is very important. So data quality is again very important. The last one is uh, data stewardship, or you can say ownership. It could be a data owner, a data manager, whoever is responsible for execution of the policy or ensuring the others, you know, uh, maintain the specified standard, what has been said for data governance. So these are uh, the few of the reasons why, you know, which data needs to be governed and why it is gone. I'm moving on to the next one. Okay, so now I'll, I can give you one uh, example on this. Uh, one is, as I mentioned earlier, regulatory compliance is a challenge for companies uh, because each company won't have branch uh, limited to a single country. It could be a multinational company. So at the same time, they have to be aligned with the laws of their land or i could say laws of the country it could be different for europe it could be different for us it could be different for australia so this is one reason the data governance tool is very important for those companies at the same time sorry, there are some uh, highly uh, regulated industries like healthcare insurance banking this finance wherein data privacy is uh, is very very important and at the same time, they, there are ongoing audits, regular checks. They have to abide to the compliance. So these are the reasons they, they have to follow and they do follow. But then there are other reasons like uh, there are companies wherein data is not governed in a uniform or in a standard way. To share you the example, this is an organization wherein we have business units or in a different business unit, they say they work on different applications, these are cloud application. So this cloud application, uh, owners are this business unit managers. So the IT team, which also handles other cloud applications, the on-premise application, they do maintain or they do a regular audit checks on the database, which are which comes under their unit, or I could say which comes under their governance. But since there's a different uh, business unit, or I could say developers or business managers who are the owner of this data. So this is not governed. And this is something which is a point of concern because it could, uh, it will definitely lead to data not being monitored. And this is the reason, this is one of the reason that data governance tool can help to ensure all, both of this can come under one umbrella. So, or uh, again, I'll just repeat that a data governance tool help ensure that all of your organizational data is protected by the same set of rules and policies regardless of where it originates. So a data governance tool allows you to automate data access controls and privacy requirements, maintain centralized oversight of compliance and build an audit trail that shows compliance with data protection regulations. Okay, these are a uh, few of the tools, uh, governance tools. Uh, the, the link is already updated on this. So if, if you click on this, it will take you to the link where you can try the demo uh, tools. These are the differences, the features. So if you see oval edge, the governance tool, it has data governance, data catalog, automated data lineage, uh, data discovery, self-service analytics. These are the features available and the platform, it, can, it will work on our Windows, Unix, Cloud, on-premise, web, and SaaS. So the another is integrate. So in a similar way, these are some of the comparison. So if you see, there is IBM, there is Colebra, 
and there is talent. So I have also mentioned the link of one of the demo. If you just click on it, it will take you straight to the Alcyon demo. So where you can see uh, yourself, the different data catalog, data governance, uh, you know, these are the different sections in that. And once I share this uh, PPT, you will also have this links to access them. Yeah, the, all of these are updated in them. So uh, before this, I have already uh, there's a Colibra access. If you if you allow me, I can show you the Colibra uh, different options in it. Is that okay if you if I access it, or do you want me to do that later? Okay, let me conclude this slide and I'll go to the Colibra and I'll show you that. So the conclusion is a poor data governance can impact an organization at all level, including reputation, penalty, strategic failure, unforeseen incidents, uh, you know, data leakage, operational impediments. So in total, it will be a business failure, also the business continuity failure, and the company may face a lawsuit. So compliant to data, uh, you know, to any policies or you know having a tool a data governance tool can help you to keep up with the rules and regulation and it will also ensure you practice uh, a standard process that increases transparency there is a, there is zero ambiguity then it increases uh, the revenue of company and uh, efficient data management with low cost so also it increases accuracy which will lead to high value data stored for consumption so at the end of this, uh, the data governance tool, what we conclude is it must be considered as a continuous improvement process and to evaluate data. So it is a must for every company to have a data governance tool to ensure all, not only the compliance requirement, but then it will also help them to maintain the data cycle to ensure uh, even the increasing volume of data can be handled properly right from the moment when we extract it or when we create it uh, then storage or you know accessing it and then once uh, it's done uh, the secure disposal to ensure it's the end of the data cycle so that's about it uh, does anyone have any questions or is it okay if i move on to the colibra tool to show you the portal the colibra uh, yes, Sanket, I think uh, you first show us the Colibra tool, and okay. then if anyone has questions, we can ask you. Sure. I hope I'm still logged in. Otherwise, I'll have to stop share, uh, sharing and then share it again because it will. Is it okay if I stop the sharing for a quick one minute? Because I'll have to end.